This year, in 2021, The Simpsons will have aired over 700 episodes. Over the past 31 years, this legendary show has made heaps of predictions that have proven accurate. Which are the best? We'll tell you. Here is our list for the top 10 Simpsons predictions. Number 10. <laughs> Bad baby! In this episode, back in 1990, Marge is not happy with Itchy and Scratchy. She believes that the show is promoting violence to children and organizes a protest. How many of you were hit on the head with mallets last week? <laughs> she demands censorship and successfully gets the show to clean up its act. Lemonade? Please, I made it just for you. You are my best friend. Itchy and Scratchy seem to have lost their edge. Over in Italy, we find out that Michelangelo's David will be touring the United States and making a stop in Springfield. Protesters gather in favor of censoring David's private parts, but Marge doesn't want to jump on board with them. But that's Michelangelo's David. It's a masterpiece. <gasps> it's filth. It graphically portrays parts of the human body, which practical as they may be, are evil. But I like that statue. <gasps> I told you she was soft on full frontal nudity. Life imitated art, literally, when a replica of David was set to be unveiled in St. Petersburg, Russia. Residents were actually asked to vote on covering up the statue after complaints that it would be a bad influence on children. Number 9 this 1994 episode, in which Lunch Lady Doris is shown cooking with, quote, assorted horse parts, now with more testicles, actually became a reality nearly 20 years later. More testicles mean more iron. In 2013, there was a serious horse meat scandal throughout parts of Europe, in which some beef products were found to have undeclared horse meat in them. Number 8. In this 1990 episode, Bart goes fishing and catches a three-eyed fish. One. Two, three. Of course, Mr. Burns, who's running for office, tries his best to prove that the power plant is not responsible for this genetic mutation that he calls Blinky. We all know the truth, and by the end of the episode, Mr. Burns fails to convince his critics when he can't even swallow his own story. <laughs> Now, Blinky actually became a real thing when a fisherman in Argentina caught a three-eyed wolf fish that was also located next to a power plant. I'm guessing that this power plant's owner didn't even think about running for public office. Number 7 Inspired by the 2008 presidential election, this episode finds Homer trying to place a vote for Barack Obama, and it doesn't go well. One vote for McCain. Thank you. <laughs> no, I want to vote for Obama. Two votes for McCain. Come on, it's time for a change! Three votes for McCain. No, no, no! Six votes for President McCain. Now in 2012, this actually happened, and there's a video on YouTube to prove it. Racking in over 10 million views, this Pennsylvania machine wasn't calibrated correctly, and changes a vote for Obama to Mitt Romney. Number 6 over the last 30 years, The Simpsons have predicted the outcome of a whole bunch of sporting events. That includes some Super Bowl winners, halftime performers, and even Olympic curling. In this 2010 episode, Homer and Marge try out for the US Olympic curling team after discovering their newfound love for curling. They team up with Agnes and Seymour Skinner, and surprisingly, they're so good that they qualify for the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics. The team faces off against Sweden and wins gold behind Marge's fantastic play. Take that, Sweden! Tell me how my ice tastes! Some eight years later, this actually became a reality. The U.S. men's curling team beat heavily favored Swedes to win gold in South Korea. Number 5 Turns out that the Simpsons writers are also mathematicians, apparently, because Homer discovered the Higgs boson before anyone else. Homer was a good 14 years early on the God Particle, which explains how everything in the universe has mass. In a 1998 episode, Homer becomes an inventor and is shown at a chalkboard with an extremely complicated equation. Unbelievably, this equation actually predicts the Higgs boson, or something extremely close to it. Believe me, it's incredible. If you try and check that, if you have a phone calculator and you try and check it, it actually works. And it's co-signed by Dr. Simon Singh, author of The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets. Number 4 
I'm the mascot of an evil corporation. <laughs> Get down from there. Back in 1998, director Ron Howard pitches Homer's screenplay to producer Brian Grazer, a 20th Century Fox. It's about a killer robot driving instructor that travels back in time for some reason. Sold! Howard, you've done it again! Now, pay close attention to the sign at the beginning of this scene. The Fox Studio logo is quoted as a division of the Walt Disney Company. Almost 20 years and more than $50 billion later, this Disney Fox deal is a reality as Mickey Mouse and Company continue the war with Netflix for your entertainment attention. Homer Simpson here, proud addition to the Disney family and soon appearing on Disney Plus. I, for one, salute our new corporate overlords. Now, family, put on the mouse ears. Number three. This 1993 season four episode, Margin Chains, really is interesting. <laughs> You might have seen these The Simpsons Predicted Coronavirus claims. What the episode actually contained was somewhat similar to COVID-19, but instead of China, the virus originated from Japan, and it doesn't become anywhere near the same pandemic. What makes this episode so special is that it doesn't end there. During the pandemic in Springfield, Mayor Quimby pretends to be in his office while he's actually in the Bahamas on vacation. Because of the epidemic, I have canceled my vacation to the Bahamas. I shall not leave the city. Hey, you! Get that steel drum out of the uh, mayor's office. Sorry, man. In 2020, this came true in Austin, Texas, where Mayor Steve Adler told people to stay home while he was on vacation chilling in Mexico. And you might have heard of something similar happening recently again with Texas Senator Ted Cruz sneaking off to Cancun during a crisis. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Following an uproar over his disappearance, he returned to Texas in less than 24 hours and said it was a mistake. Number two. The Simpsons predicted in the episode Bart to the Future. President-elect Lisa Simpson moves into the White House tomorrow. In this episode, it is now notable how Lisa is dressed. Vice President Kamala Harris might not be the first female president, but at the inauguration, she wore a dress that's strangely similar to President Lisa's. I like to imagine that Kamala is just such a big Simpsons fan that she wore this on purpose. What can I do to thank you? Legalize it. Legalize what? Oh, oh, consider it done. Tasty. Number one. Now, for the prediction heard around the world, the Simpsons predicted Trump, as in President Trump. Yep, it's in an episode with a flash forward to the future where Lisa is the new president of the United States. Unfortunately, she has to take on the gargantuan task of cleaning up after the disastrous job left by former president Donald Trump. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. What Simpsons prediction do you think should be number one? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to GameSpot Universe to get even more prediction videos.